The late drummer Charlie Watts and the late Rolling Stones, guitarist Ronnie Wood had a farewell conversation. Watts passed away from cancer in 2021 at the age of 80, but the Rolling Stones promised to carry on without him with Steve Jordan. Wood has now stated that before the drummer died, he gave Jordan his blessing and didn't want the Stones to go on hiatus in the wake of his passing. On October 20th, the Rolling Stones will release Hackney Diamonds, their newest album. The LP is their first release since Charlie's passing, and while Watts does play drums on two tracks, Jordan is featured on the majority of the songs. The question of whether Watts' presence was felt in the studio was again posed to Wood in a recent interview with NME, which caused him to reflect on his final conversation with the late drummer. As he said, Oh, absolutely, constantly. I was the last person to see Charlie before he passed away in the hospital in London. I want to leave this horrible place, but until then, could you kindly see to it that Steve Jordan carries the flag for me? You shouldn't worry about it, I added. You're covered by us. The guitarist said, and he said, all right. Immediately leave the room so I can watch, Italian jockey, Frankie Dettori on TV. Charlie had a passion for horse racing. Meanwhile, Keith Richards described how he honors Watts every day while on the Howard Stern show recently. I miss Charlie every day, he confessed to the announcer. The first thing I notice as I exit my bedroom is a portrait of Charlie on the stairs. I usually salute him en route. Charlie Watts was a good person. Richards continued by saying of his dear friend, he had feel, he had intelligence. Rock and roll doesn't necessarily need the complete battery of drums. It's got to do with when to not hit silence is your blank canvas for creating music. He would incorporate concepts you hadn't truly considered while maintaining a strong beat. The guitarist added, I never had to worry about anything, so the rest of us can, like, soar.